Hey, what's going on everybody? On today's project of piecing the German junk box back together, we're gonna try and fit the CX Racing front mount intercooler in here. Uh, I got rid of my water-cooled system. I debated on going with the air-to-air -air for a while. I'm finally doing it. Uh, I kinda just got tired of the mess of all the coolant lines. Um, just wanted to really neat up the bay once and for all. I'm gonna flip the throttle body the other way around. So, have it coming in off the turbo through here coming right up through this side of the intake once it's back on. I'm still waiting for a head gasket to come in, so I figured this is a good time to finally get around to this. Plan is to cut down through here where the headlight kind of mounts to. Kind of slice that off, same on that side there. Uh, maybe relocate the horns permanently if I have to. I'll see if they'll fit back on after. Also gonna shave down the back side of this headlight housing here. Uh, cut these brackets off, cut into there, kind of just wing it as we go and do what we got to do to get this thing in and make some new brackets after and see what we got to do. Uh, recently rebuilt the turbo while I had it out, polished that up, crinkle painted the valve cover, cleaned that up too. So just wait on that head gasket and hopefully be back up and going here sooner than later. But alrighty, I'm gonna try and get some footage while going at this, show some before and after of the cuts and what we're doing exactly. Stay tuned. Alright, got both headlight housings out. Gonna attempt my first cut here. Um, gonna try and cut out just the top bracket there for the headlight housing. See if we leave that bottom one in, hopefully. Um, gonna go right in between here. Hopefully should have enough to slide it right in there. If this side goes well, we're gonna do the same over there. Get it in there, then put the headlight housings back on and see if we gotta shave down on them at all. Alrighty. So here's what we cut out so far. Square right there, cut out the top little bracket for the headlight holder. Same on this side here. Um, intercooler fits in, but it's sticking out a little bit, slightly tilted towards the front. So kind of outlined a little square right there. Same on that side over there. We're gonna give that a cut, put the intercooler back in and see how it's looking from there. All right, here's where we're at so far. Cut both sides. I uh, cut down in there a bit. Light them here so you guys can see that. Uh, obviously, I smooth that out a bit. I'm gonna come in a little bit more there, but right there we should clear and the radiator should be able to fit right in there still. So right there's where we cut. Square out of there. Square out of there. Grind it down a little bit in there. Gonna smooth that out, smooth out all the other spots through here, and then uh, put the headlight housings back on, see what else we got to cut on them, but I think we're about done cutting on the body, luckily. Not too bad. Alrighty, so we got the intercooler sitting in here, finished up most of the cutting. Um, as you can see, we got some up and down room here. 
Should be able to fit some clamps in here, some couplers, have some room to play with. Uh, as you can see, we got plenty of room coming back as well. I'm gonna slide the radiator in a little bit just to make sure, but looks like we should have enough clearance to get this guy in here. Um, next obstacle we got here is uh, gonna have to carve down this headlight housing a bit. Pulled the adjuster screw out, which is why that guy's moving, but we're gonna have to cut down basically from there, get it down pretty narrow, cut this bracket arm coming off, and a uh, little bit of trial and error, and then get it to remount and for this guy to clear back there. After that, uh, I'm gonna work on how I'm gonna mount up a bracket for this guy. Um, might relocate the horns, see if I could use the threads right there. Maybe bend some brackets that come up and over, go across, we'll hold this guy up. And we'll see if we'll need them on the bottom or not. Not too sure yet, but I'm gonna start cutting at that guy next year. <laughs> Here's the final look over. I uh, just got the brackets mounted in. I'll give you a look at them in a second, but we got clearance all around here. Plenty of room up and down there. And uh, this is three inch piping right there. Uh, shaved down the headlight housings along through there. Same on this side over here. Um, the headlight adjustments. I'm probably gonna have to cut down this stud a little bit, put a different nut in there just so we don't hit the piping it's kind of close right there so i might give myself a little bit more room with that this side i was able to get a different nut in there on the stud and uh it clears as long as i'm using metal piping coming in through that side of it uh this is just mock-up piping right now anyways I'm probably gonna have some different couplers and such but just to make sure for the most part we're gonna fit for the brackets i had some scrap aluminum laying around and just kind of bent it up into some l's drilled through them a bit and uh, got that all squared away. See them on the bottom there. I was able to even get them on the bottom and there's factory uh, spots. Put some screws in over there. Same on that side over there. Um, I did shave down a little bit along the outside of where the headlights go, um, but we got clearance for it. If I have to, I could always go down a little more, but like I said, I'm gonna probably do some different piping. Maybe get something that comes out a little farther just to give me a little bit more clearance right through there. But otherwise that's it. Not too bad. Time to get the head on next and then uh, route the rest of this piping and flip the throttle body on the intake and come back to life. Alrighty, thanks for watching guys.